Almost everywhere you look, you will find invasive plants in the landscape. An invasive plant is non-native, spreads rapidly, grows rapidly, and produces abundant seeds that live for a long time in the soil. Today I'd like to show you a few invasive plants that I'm currently doing battle with. The Tree of Heaven was introduced in Victorian times as an ornamental. Today you will find it growing everywhere because it is a remarkably invasive plant. It grows to 30 feet tall and is also called a stinking schumach because it resembles a schumach until you break a stem and then it really stinks. It propagates by seeds and sprouting from the roots. Each female tree produces an average of 325,000 seeds a year. So control is focused on limiting seed production. The method of control you'll use depends on the size of tree you're working with. Small to medium trees like this, spraying with Roundup brush killer is very effective. But you have to be very careful when using Roundup because it is a non-selective herbicide and will kill every plant it comes in contact with. When working with a large tree, you have to either cut or girdle it to remove the tree. But what will happen is you will soon have an army of sprouts coming up from the roots, which you then have to spray or mow again. If you're lucky enough to have just one small tree of heaven to worry about, a weed wrench is a great way to control it. Autumn olive is a thorny shrub from East Asia that grows quickly to 15 to 20 feet. It produces lots of seeds in the fall that look like olives, which the birds love which is how it gets spread so quickly through the landscape. If you want to get rid of a bush this size, what you have to do is cut it down. But once you cut it, it's going to re-sprout from the roots, so you're going to have to cut it or spray it again. If you're dealing with a plant this size, the easiest way to get rid of it is spraying it with Roundup Brush Killer. So don't wait. Japanese barberry is another example of a plant which was sold for its ornamental value, but has since escaped into the forests and natural areas, creating a lot of problems there. It's a thorny shrub that grows 8 to 10 feet tall and produces a lot of seeds, which are spread by birds. One of the most damaging things about this plant is that it raises the pH level of the soil, thus making the soils around it inhospitable for forest plants which like acid soils. If you want to get rid of a Japanese barberry this size, the most effective way to do it is to spray it with Roundup Brush Killer. If you're working with one, two, or three single stems, you can pull them out by hand. Only make sure to wear gloves and long sleeves. These are but a few of the many invasive plants in the landscape. I hope what you've seen tonight will allow you to identify those on your property and start you on the road to controlling them. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.